guys, thank you for watching. Welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This is going to be a Capricorn reading from October 19th to the 23rd. There is hundreds and millions of Capricorns out there, so this is not going to be every single Capricorn story, okay? It's just a general reading. Also, feel free to stop around the energies. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or somebody that you're dealing with, okay? And um, I just want to say I appreciate everybody for liking, sharing, leaving a comment, and subscribing. I really do appreciate you guys. And just so you know, I'm going to use the um, Rebel deck. This one's kind of blunt, straight to the point. There's even some cuss words in there. So trigger alert just in case, Capricorn. And uh, also Queen of the Moon Oracle. And the Golden Universal Tarot deck. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn, um, we have here the Heart Chakra. So some of you guys are going to start to, yeah, movement choices and decisions. I was going to say move into a relationship, possibly open up to somebody. Somebody could be opening up to you. Let's see. Yeah. It looks like it might be a union. Yeah. Um, that you guys might help each other out. <clears throat> or in the past, it could have been a third party relationship. October 19th to the 23rd Capricorn. Okay, so Capricorn, um, it honestly looks like here, maybe in the past, somebody was in a third party relationship. Um, like there was other people involved with this three here, heartache and loss, and that caused difficulty. And someone knows the truth about that, right? They have mental clarity. So although someone's wanting this new beginning, there's a need to be patience because there's still some healing that is needing to be done here. Um, it's kind of weird to say that like, yeah, see, again, another four here. So um, I was going to say somebody might be holding back because it's kind of like, you know, they had to break their heart to realize that, like, you know, wait a minute. I really do love this person. So uh, let's see. Capricorn, October 19th to the 23rd. Yeah, see, it was due to insecurities here. Somebody could be hesitant into getting into a relationship, but it honestly looks like old cycles are closing and it's the start of new cycles. So whether you choose to be with this person or not, right? Let's see, Capricorn, what is this patience card? October 19th to the 23rd. See a tower moment. So somebody is having like a wake-up call or or maybe somebody's getting a surprise shock because um, somebody messages, right? Pages have a lot to do with messages. So you could also be dealing with the fire sign, a uh, young fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So somebody could be messaging you about having a new beginning. And although you're like, yes, uh, all of a sudden, you know, that kind of makes you have anxiety and causes you to overthink because it's like, wait a minute, um, I just remembered like this person cheated on me in the past, you know, or like this person took advantage of me or this person, you know, talked bad about me or this person um, made fun of me, betrayed me in some way, right? Uh, every Capricorn story, you know, could be different. Um, uh, take it how it resonates. Also, feel free to stop it around, okay? So let's see. Capricorn, October 19th to the 23rd. Yeah, so somebody is now at this crossroads, and although they're trying hard not to think about the past, we have Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, um, so this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, but, you know, it's it's putting this person now in a loop in their head where, like, they're having to think about it because it's like, wait a minute, again, I'm remembering the good times and the bad times, and it's like, you know, so... Take it how it resonates, guys, because that's what the Seven of Pentacles is to me. It's like weighing out the pros, weighing out the cons. So it's like you're remembering the good times and the bad times. So Capricorn, October 19th to the 23rd. <clears throat> Hold on, I'm going to get something to drink. Thank you. So <clears throat> see here we have the Eight of Swords and then the Seven of Swords. See, so it's like now someone's overthinking how someone was just shady. Somebody was a liar. It doesn't necessarily have to be cheating. It could just be that somebody was just a liar. You know, with the page of wands, they could have told you what they what you wanted to hear or vice versa. And, you know, it's kind of like gaslighting, <clears throat> breadcrumbing. See, so now somebody knows the truth about moving forward with this person. It's kind of like, you know, if you want to be with this person or vice versa, there's a lot of forgiveness, you know, having to be done here um, in the past. Yeah, see, uh, there's a lot of communication needed here. Well, I feel like there is going to be a lot of communication about, you know, maybe how somebody took an, um, how somebody might have just kind of like screwed somebody over in a way. Um, my cards like to fall out past, present, and then future. So I want to say this is kind of more like, you know, they screwed you over in the past. And so, yeah, somebody is now having to like make amends with you with this judgment card. Um, kind of like apologize and speak their truth as well. So let's see, Capricorn, October 19th to the 23rd. What is this passion ignited for Capricorn? Let's 
See, it could be, um, you know, somebody is more in it for sex. Um, that could be what somebody is realizing here. And so it's like, although someone's wanting to come in, speak their truth and communicate, you know, there's a little bit of unhappiness here because it's like someone's rushing in without kind of being reasonable. Like, hey, you remember you uh, kind of put me through hell, right? <laughs> you know, Capricorn here, you could be dealing with another Capricorn as well. See, somebody is like seeing things clearly about someone else. And, you know, some things have been illuminated about someone. You know, maybe they're kind of impulsive. Um, they do things without uh, without thinking. And so then with the Eight of Pentacles here, it's like um, someone could be focusing on work as a way to kind of not think about this connection. See, Six of Cups here. So somebody knows the truth about the past. Um, let me see. Capricorn, what is this heartache and loss? So in the future, you guys are going to get everything that you're wishing for. There's just more patience here. Um, I say that because it fell over here. So in the future, um, let's see. You could also be dealing with the Sagittarius. Again, patience on top of patience here. So there's just a need to wait. Um, let me get a card for that devil energy. Can you give me, Holy Spirit, a card for the devil? It's too much. Okay, a card for the devil, please. Thank you. So, yeah, you could have been going in cycles with this person, and now you could be overthinking negative things, toxic thoughts. Um, okay, here we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, due to past heartaches in this relationship, <clears throat> it could be a marriage. <clears throat> wow. So, you guys could be having trouble communicating. One moment. Let me take a sip. Yeah, some of you guys could be having trouble communicating or someone's having issues communicating. Um, but with the Ten of Wands, Four of Wands here, um, I feel like someone here is just, you know, they're afraid to come in uh, because they feel like you're going to argue because, you know, that's 14, which is five. So five of wands. Uh, some of you guys are dealing with a soul, uh, with a twin flame here. To me, this is the twin flame card, 1111. But, um, you know, there's, and it could have been a marriage as well. That's also the marriage card here. You know, with the Six of Wands here, uh, there's, there's a balance here because someone knows their worth you know it's equal give and take with the six and six and then we also have six here so it's just a need to walk away from something negative some sort of thought pattern some sort of just habit um addiction take it how it resonates right but with the king and queen of swords here i feel like you guys are going to com communicate very directly and clearly about you know past toxic behaviors past toxic issues can i get another card for the world card here yeah, so it's it's just a need to balance out the situation here. Some of you guys could also be dealing with the Libra. Um, balancing out the situation so that there's no more toxic energy. And it could be due to overthinking, you know, about work, um, you know, about money. And, you know, with the five of cups here, that's what caused a lot of regrets in the relationship. See, here we have the eight of cups here. See, there's real love here. You guys are going to come together and, like, celebrate. It's like a reunion and it's going to be a positive movement forward. See, with the communication, like I said, some of you guys have to kind of get the courage to communicate clearly. And that's what's uh, causing pe someone hardship. You know, they're overthinking with the Eight of Swords here. You know, that's what's causing them difficulty in coming forward. So with the Eight of Cups here and the Three of Wands and the Nine of Cups here, someone has to walk away from this heartache and loss here in order for you guys to come together. This is just patience and planning with the Three of Wands. Okay, uh, but again, there's just, I feel like you guys are going to communicate about whatever in the past was toxic, and then from there you guys could move forward. And if you don't want to move forward, that's fine, you know, then that really isn't your story. You could just be walking away 100% from this person, but at least you get the closure that you wanted for, that you, that you wanted, right, and that you've been waiting for. Okay, guys, and feel free to stop it around. I'm going to go ahead and close it off here. Oh, no, 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 no. I have two more decks. See resistance. See, someone is just resistant to the relationship. Someone was just resistant in the past, right? Let's see, Scorpio. And then I want to use the Rebel deck. That one's pretty funny. So, see, here we have... Look, I'll go ahead and grab it. Some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. Capricorn, right, Capricorn? Let's see. One last shuffle, Capricorn. October 19th to the 23rd. See, if you're dealing with like a twin flame situation, it could have been a masculine here, dealing with somebody who was more in their masculine 
you know, um, where they cared more about lust and power and control. And I feel like that's kind of what is being worked on. Let's see. Capricorn. Here we have surrender. See, someone is learning to let go. That's what that tower is. Creation. Learning to work together and gratitude because someone I feel like is going to get closure. Also, um, with one hand in the other one, I feel like you guys are going to start to work together as a team. You know, and if you don't want to work with this person, um, I feel like your ancestors are also helping you out because um, there's, you know, it looks like an elder hand here. You know, so I feel like your ancestors are kind of stepping in to also help you out with this heartache here. You could be manifesting this here and because you developed a clean mindset, you know, you cleared up the confusion in, in your head. That's kind of what's causing a creation here. So I feel like someone's going to come in to help you out. It could also be business partners here. That's kind of what the king and queens of swords is as well. It's business partners. Watch out. She could get ugly. You are being shady. Capricorn. I don't know if that's you or the person that you're dealing with. <laughs> okay. What the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you are waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. Wow. <laughs> Excuse my language. Like I said, there was cuss words in here. And um, I just want one card only from this deck. So it says, uh, figure shit out on your own. Lightning bolt. It's an epiphany. This is what this tower card is. So someone could be, again, realizing that they have to come forward and apologize. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close it off here, guys. Again, if this helped you guys out in any way, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.